Last week was Annihilate, this week is Chaos. What in the world, Ben? What are you talking about, don't be the fat husband? Happy Monday, don't be the fat husband land people awesomeness. Hope you're having a good Monday. As you can see, I have my hoodie open today. We have progressed. Today, the high is gonna be in the 60s, and I'm very happy, very, very happy about that. As a matter of fact, I went on a run yesterday. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, I posted a picture of my run. I went to Central Park, Olivia was teaching on the Upper East Side, so I just decided I was gonna do a 5K. Listen, I haven't run in a while, so I'm actually sore today, which is awesome, right? You're always trying to do something new, keep it buried. Fun, fun, fun. So I hope you're ready for this week. It is getting warmer if you're in the United States. If you're not, okay, it might be getting warmer, it might be getting cooler, I don't know. I, I can't even think about those things right now because it's the beginning of a week and we're gonna have a great week. Here's what I've been thinking of though. I keep coming back to this concept, this idea, this phrase of bringing order to chaos. You're like, what? Last week was Annihilate, this week is Chaos. What in the world, Ben? What are you talking about? Don't be the fed husband. Well, if you'll go with me for a second, if we go back to Genesis and it talks about the beginning of the creation of the world, it says the it, it was hovering over, the spirit was hovering over the chaos. Lots of different translations, lots of different things. But you had chaos. And what God did basically was he created out of nothing, out of that chaos, he created the world. He created all the things we love, you know, the earth itself, the land and the sea, and then the animals and, you know, daylight and nighttime, and then us. And he brought order to chaos. And I kept thinking, you know, even in business, um, you know, sometimes people say when they have a startup idea, you know, some tech startup or something, they're solving a problem for people, you know, that in business, if this, or if, if you're a consumer and there's something that is a problem that there's no solution for, if someone comes in in a business and they provide a solution for that, usually they'll get pretty rich. <laughs> and I kept coming back to this phrase, it's related to money, but it's not just related to money. It's an idea. It's a concept, right? That there's great reward for those who order chaos often. Um, you know, obviously there's negative versions of that where you have corrupt systems that did bring order to chaos in some way. Um, you know, you can think to dictators and things like that, like Saddam Hussein and stuff. There was some sort of order there, but it was a corrupt order. It was an evil order in some way. Um, obviously I'm not trying to get into politics here, but just trying to give you an idea of what I'm thinking about. So drill that down even a little bit more into our own lives. I mean, you've got to bring order to the chaos. If your goal is to get healthy and to lose weight, you have a probably, now you can correct me if I'm wrong, and that's what the comment section is for, people. You probably have a chaotic eating slash fitness slash health life. You know what I mean? When I was overweight and weighed 300 some odd pounds, I ate whatever I want, whenever I wanted, all the time. Unless I was trying some diet, then I was starving myself for a couple days until I fell off the wagon. I was like, mmm, I want a McDonald's McGriddle for breakfast. Mmm, delicious. I think I'll have a Diet Coke and I'll have the hash browns too. And then in an hour when I get hungry again because that didn't satisfy me, I'm going to eat, you know, you know what? I'm going to go down to the vending machine and get some Pop-Tarts. Yes, I like the cherry frosted kind. They're really good. Or, you know, brown sugar cinnamon. That's really good. And then for lunch, maybe, you know, hmm, what can I think of that I'll have? I have like a calzone. Uh, I mean, can you see that I've already had like three or 4,000 calories? <laughs> Just because I wanted it. That was chaotic. There wasn't thought to it. There wasn't any sort of order. I guess the only order you could say is there's breakfast that happens in the morning, there's a snack, and there's lunch. I guess that is some sort of order, but not really anything. Instead of a thought out plan, a strategy, some something to do. And so I was rewarded when I began to lose weight by 
I was rewarded because I ordered the chaos in my life. And so I've been thinking a lot about that because, you know, I have a lot of other interests too. I have a music channel and I, I have, um, you know, even at work, I'm just thinking of all these things. I'm even thinking about, you know, we're going to have a baby in August and it's going to be pretty chaotic and that's normal. There's nothing here I'm saying you have to be like, there's has to be, but we'll have to bring order to that chaos. I mean, how do you get kids on a schedule? You bring order to the chaos. How do you get their food uh, regulated and at the right time you bring order to chaos I mean think about finances if you can bring the order to chaos I'll never forget we did the Dave Ramsey thing I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dave Ramsey I know some of you are uh, Jen Ferris I know that you are and, and things like that but several several years ago Olivia and I were in Nashville and that's when he just had his radio show and we read the financial peace book and that's the first time I ever had done a budget and seen even what my cash flow was all of a sudden there was order to chaos and even though we didn't have a lot of money man we were really making it work for us in a way that we weren't otherwise and we brought order to chaos so that's your thing for today when you think about in your life particularly with health and fitness because that's what this channel is about but it really applies to everywhere right where is there chaos and how can you bring order how can you bring order? And not some sort of legalistic order like, oh, I must follow the rule. Oh, I didn't dot the I, so I'm just terrible. I'm going to fall off the wagon. So a lot of people do with diets, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. How do you bring order to the chaos? Let's just, let's put it together in this beautiful life-filled way that you go, ah, there's a system now. There's a system. Just as your body has the cardio, you know, the, the uh, nervous system and, and uh, the central nervous system, all of these things how it brings a system to what otherwise would be chaotic. I could go about this all day. You guys know we could talk about it forever. Uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because I'm just beginning to really think about it. Bringing order to chaos and how there's reward for the person, persons who do that in whatever arena of your life, but particularly in health and fitness. Tell me if there's something that needs to bring into order from the chaos. And let's continue it. Maybe we'll do some more videos and you know talk about this concept because it's really, really, I it hasn't left me. You know, a lot of times I'll get an idea like, oh, this is the greatest idea ever. And then, you know, I'll forget about it a couple days later. Go, oh, that was a nice idea. This really has come back to me. I keep thinking, order the chaos, order the chaos. Let's order the chaos. Let's order the chaos. And so that's it. Hope you guys have a great week. I got a bunch of new music stuff going up this week. I'm gonna record a song today and I'm gonna record some other stuff. So be on the lookout and somebody almost hit somebody else or somebody was mad. But be on the lookout. We will see you next time. Hey, also, if you'll notice up in the top right hand corner of this video, if you hover over, there's a little eye. If you click on that eye, that's the new annotation YouTube have. YouTube has. And it'll give you some links to other videos or other stuff that I put in there, like a, you know, my website or anything that I want you to see. I think you would like if you if you already like this video. So be sure to click on that if you would. And if there's links there that you like, then do it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Favorite, share, give a thumbs up. It really helps. And we will see you next time on Don't Be The Fat Husband. Bye, guys. Father, comforter, Savior, friend. Hold me close to this pain.